Abdullah says, how do we place our hands on knees during rukur, sujood, in tashahud, etc.? Must the fingers be held together or kept apart? What about our feet? Abdullah, you want me to describe to you the whole process of the Prophet's way of praying, and this does not fit in this program. This is a Q&A program. Your fingers should be normal, not tight and not spread. It should be normal. So when you do takbir, Allahu Akbar, it's normal. It's together, not spread. So, and it's not really tight like this, but it's, it's normal palm of the hand. You put the right on the left on your chest, as per the hadith of Wa'al ibn Hujr. So either you put the right on the left like this, it does not go beyond your arm like some people do this. This is not right. You do this, or you hold your uh, uh, wrist with left wrist with your right hand. This is one of the ways of putting it on the chest. When you bow, when you go for rukur, you place your hands on the kneecap and you spread your fingers. So you don't do this, you do this as if you're holding your kneecap. This is what was mentioned in the sunnah of the Prophet's prayer alayhi salatu wasalam. When you fall down to rukur, your fingers are pointing on the ground to the qibla and they are tight. You don't prostrate like this, rather you prostrate like that, not like this and not like that. Your fingers are pointing to the qibla. Your feet are erect. Well, I can't do that here because it's my hand. And your toes generally speaking, are facing the Qibla as well. But you know that the foot itself, you cannot place all your toes on the ground because usually you have the big thumb and then the uh, um, uh, toes go down in sequence. So when you have your foot erect on the ground, usually it's only the, uh, uh, the big toe and the one next to it that touches the ground. And the other three are flying uh, most likely, depending on the way your foot was designed or created. And when you sit down for tashahud, usually you put your left hand on your thigh and knee. So it's the area in between. If you hold your kneecap, this is okay. And if you put it a little bit uh, uh, between the knee and the thigh, this is also ap applicable. The right hand in the tashahud would be like this. So you make a circle between the middle finger and your thumb while your index is pointing and the two fingers are in a fist-like position and you place it on the area between your knee and thigh and you move your fingers, wiggle your fingers in its place while doing tashahud from the moment you sit until the moment you end your tashahud either to stand for the third rak'ah or to offer the salutation, the dua and then conclude by giving salam, you keep on wiggling it in its position, you don't go up and down you don't go in circles like some people do. You don't just say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, and that's it. And, and you go, because the sunnah of the hadith of Wahir ibn Hujr, that the Prophet used to point at some the index finger and uh, move it, making dua with it. So wiggling it, shaking it in its place, and Allah Azza wa knows best.